Right, new video, new bit of tech. Every now and again, we come across something that I think is pretty special, because a lot of the stuff we see is just kind of the same thing reinvented. A couple of years ago, the thing I absolutely loved and raved about was the Avano, which you can see in the back of our van here. And what you can see underneath that is the next bit of tech. So some people would have seen this floating around on our social media and a couple of posts of me messing around in the wood, drinking a beer with it. But we've had these fridges in a similar style now for probably a year. We were trying a couple of different options with it. We wanted to make a few little tweaks with it. So it's an Alpicool chest fridge. See quite a lot of these chest fridges floating around now, but this one is the best that we've come across because it has a rechargeable battery. So instead of it only being charged by 12 volt or mains volt, mains charge, it also has a rechargeable battery and it can also be charged by solar. So we were working with these to make a few changes along the way. I asked them to add a bottle opener just because why not? And also we were getting the size in right. So we wanted one that worked perfectly within Avano. So as I'll show you in a minute, fits nice and neatly in there. If you're going for this whole, the whole basis of a lot of our YouTube videos have been about practical campers and practical camper setup and this I think is a really practical way to have a fridge in your van if you don't want the standard traditional camper setup but this CWW 35, 35 litre fridge ticks all the boxes for me, got loads of nice little features in it but it's, the beauty of it is fridge freezer compartment but it runs on a battery power so it's just perfect. You want to go off to the beach, you want to roll your beers or your drinks with you off to the beach, here's the bit of kit to do it. So I'll take you in a little bit closer, show you around it, show you some of the features it's got. I think we'll probably crack open a beer and enjoy it. You see it fits really nice and neatly inside the Avano there. Nice bit of HQ branding. So I've got Eric here with me. So Eric is my other Dutch business partner, another part of Transport HQ Europe. So you quite often speak to him if you ring up. So Eric's just gonna pull this out and we're gonna show you some of the features that it's got. So you see there, nice rugged, solid wheels for dragging along, extendable handle there, and then just roll off to your destination. So just a few more details about it. So as you can see, the handle there is extendable. It's easy enough just to clip back in when you're not using it. So this is really rugged. This is designed to also be a seat, so you can sit on there. Eric, do you want a demo? Do you want to have a sit on it? Of course. There you go, nice and solid. <laughs> You'll notice a few things around the side here if I just spin you around the outside. So we asked them to add a bottle opener, which I thought was a nice feature. Why not? I'm not saying that everybody that owns one of these is going to be an Alki, but may as well add it if we could. So at the bottom here, you can see a couple of things. You can see the connection point where you connect your 12 volt and your 24 volt, and also a solar panel connection. Now, these are available in Transport HQ UK and Europe. The UK site, we do actually have the solar panels available. We'll probably get some over here at some point as well. But um, nice little feature if you want to charge them by solar, if you've got no access to your 12 volts, your cigarette lighter and your charging point. Then there you'll see is your removable battery. If I just show you the, what comes in the box, there you go, so inside here. So obviously if you're in the UK, you'll get UK plug. If you're in Europe, you'll get two pin plug. And then you've got the 12 volt for your, your car, for your cigarette lighter connection, or in the back of your camper, or wherever you decide to connect it up. Just a really nice built, really rugged, <clears throat> well-designed bit of kit. So we've been trialing these for a little while now, just to try to figure out how much battery power you get out of it. And there's no exact science to it really, and that's very much dependent on, on what temperature you have it at, how often you're opening and closing it, if you're starting off with a, all the stuff that you've put out of your home fridge so it's already cold, or whether you're loading it full of warm beer and then turning it on, it's gonna affect how long the battery goes. But I mean, I guess, <laughs> Worst case scenario, you want it to last a day, don't you, at the beach? Well, we tested this in various different kind of ways, different temperatures, warm beer in it to start with, cold beer in it, and we never got less than like eight hours, but we've also had it running for 24 hours still just on the battery. So really impressed actually with how much it holds its, its power. Again, it all depends on how warm it is. And, but you know, for a day at the beach or in the forest or whatever you're doing or out mountain biking, it's perfect if you want it not to be connected to the battery, but while it's plugged into your van or plugged into the main socket, obviously it's running on that. So you're gonna have loads of loads of energy and everything you need to keep your stuff cold and it really does keep stuff cold. So if I take you in closer, so you see inside here, you've got two compartments, essentials in there, obviously, water, Coke and beer. And then this one, I don't know if you can actually see, but this is like, it's actually frosty. That's the freezer section and that's just running on battery power. So we've put, set these at two different temperatures. I'll show you how easy it is to do that in a second because it's all done on an app. And then other nice little features like a chopping board, all clipped in the bottom there. Sits neatly there. Slice your nice bit of lime, put inside your bottle of Corona, and away you go. Store a bit of salad in there, whatever you need. 
just another nice little feature the lid stays open plenty of room in there so this is a 35 litre split across the two different sections there on the front here you'll see there's your control panel i don't know how well you can see that actually with a camera but it shows you your temperature settings and how much charge is on there but i'll show you that in more detail in an app form on your phone just to, to explain it a bit better and then you see there's a usb port there so if you've got a phone, connect your USB port in there, and then that's then using the, the output from the battery that's in the back there to charge your phone. There you go. So as I mentioned before, you can control the temperature on the front here, turn it on and off and change the settings and stuff. But the easiest way to do it is actually in a really handy, really easy to use app. So you'll see here, you just download an app called Car Fridge Freezer and that app once it's loaded gives you all the information so it lights up really quick for the first time you do it when you download it it'll ask you to connect to your fridge it will search find it instantly you press the button and away you go it will start allowing you to control the fridge control the temperature you hear when you do it you hear the fridge beep as it's uh, accepting it gives you information of how much charge is in there so you can see this is 100 percent charge currently you can obviously turn it on and off you can change which side of the fridge you want at which temperature you can set it to like eco mode if you're running all in, all on battery or if you're running on hookup you can obviously allow it to use more power to uh, to run the inside of the fridge so really handy really nice app dead easy to use and control all done via bluetooth just makes it really usable and um, so just all around a great gadget i'm super impressed with it so they're priced at 495 in the uk including vat and free delivery there's obviously a discount for trade if you're buying in volume over here in europe they stock them as well about i don't know how to check about 700 euros i think 700 euros yeah just really great bit of kit in stock ready to post the next day we've sold a few so far actually and um, just off the small amount of social media posts we've we've um, done and, and everybody's raved about them i've had quite a few people come back and order them for their friends but with the whole van thing practicality you know if you don't actually have a full camper with a built-in fridge there's loads of fridges about you know there's some great ones but this is the only one i've seen that works really reliably with a battery that's easy to use uh, and yeah, holds its temperature and it just has that ability if you want to plug it into your cigarette lighter you can if you want to plug it into the mains in your house mine's been living in my house now cooling beer for when we have people around it's just an extra extension of a fridge but then we're out and about in the garden or off at the beach maybe hopefully one day the weather warms up it's really rugged and hardware and like i said you saw eric sitting on it earlier it's designed with that way you know that's um the um the wheels are sort of really off off-roady all-terrain really tough and durable wheels so really nice bit of kit so i think it's time we go over on the grass enjoy some of the dutch sunshine stick our feet up and have a beer while these two boys sit with their feet up drinking a beer i'm gonna go and do some work and let them enjoy the dutch sunshine it might look sunny but it is a bit cold or it is warming up so in the background there you'll see an electric scooter and the reason why that's there is that's what the next video is going to be on in the whole idea of having a practical camper i think this is the most practical way practical way to get around campsites and all your private property places if you're out camping and uh, but we'll come into that in the future loads of electric scooters around it's just we think we found the one that suits our industry and this purpose absolutely perfectly but if you want to find out more about that make sure you subscribe to the channel so like the video subscribe to the channel ring the little bell to get notifications when the next video comes out if you're interested in these fridges or anything else transport related transport related whether you're in the uk or whether you're in europe like these guys please do share our videos with anybody else and as always thanks for watching